Hi there, in this video I'm going to show a very simple house that I created in Blender and discuss how I built it. This house has individual stone uh, components or just uh, cubes that I shaped to kind of look like stones uh, and so each one is its own separate object and this is also visible uh, through the wireframe view. So to build the house, I first created individual blocks for the walls. Uh, these blocks measure uh, 0.4 meters by 0.8 meters by 0.4 meters. So they're rectangular in shape. Uh, I just stacked those on top of each other. Uh, I used the snapping uh, method, snapping to increment, to make sure that the blocks were all uh, aligned with each other well, um, and just kind of continue that up. Then to make the arches, I went to edit mode, uh, and I just uh, trimmed out parts of uh, some of the blocks adjacent to the doors diagonally to create an arch effect. Once I built that, I basically just uh, copied and pasted uh, this main wall here um, over to the other side, and then I had my front entrance. Um, so then moving over to the side wall, uh, I did very much a similar thing, except now the longer edge of the rectangle was on the x-axis rather than the y-axis. So very much the same thing uh, for the windows. I simply deleted some blocks, and then uh, repositioned others so that they were only uh, 0.2 meters in length uh, versus 0.4 meters. The back wall and the side wall were very similar. Um, I could do a lot of copying and pasting to, to finish that method up. Then to create the roof, I basically created longer blocks, then um, deleted the vertices that had been on the top right here. Then I went to the context menu after clicking on all four of these vertices here and I right-clicked and selected new edge slash face from vertices. So that created those shapes to kind of make a sloping roof. And then I just copied and pasted those um, all the way uh, for both sides of the roof. Uh, finally, I went into um, ambient CG to add some texture. So I have some stone textures here and then more of a wood texture for the roof. So it's possible to go inside the house as well. Um, the inside is pretty simple. Uh, you see the, the lower base of the roof. Uh, along with just the interior uh, stone walls there. Um, I didn't really add a floor. Basically my goal here as someone fairly new to Blender is to make, was to make a simple kind of medieval styled house. Um, I can see how it looks a little bit like maybe an old medieval church, but uh, my focus here is to make a house rather than uh, a house of worship. Um, but I'm hoping to kind of continue building my Blender skills and create um, maybe some castles or even kind of more of a cathedral uh, look in the future. Because the um, stones here are individually created, um, they also react to uh, different uh, physics uh, manipulations. For instance, if I created a large block here, uh, which you can see, uh, this block uh, weighs about 172,000 kilograms. Uh, if I just drop this block on the house, uh, you'll see, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't do so great. And if we make the block smaller, we get still a lot of damage to the house, but not quite as much. Uh, you see part of, part of the, uh, the walls are still intact there. What's also fun is to adjust the gravity settings to have not only um, regular z-axis gravity, but also a little bit of x and y-axis gravity, which uh, creates this effect. You see the house just topple over. And here's a look at that if you were uh, instead inside the house. I had a lot of fun working on it, and i um, happy to share the, uh, the blend file as well if it's something that you yourself might enjoy playing around with. But I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day.